Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Channel Mac here with you. Very frustrated, very angry at this point. Uh, cleaning up and fixing my uh, my Sharp FC Twin, Famicom Twin, basically disk system and uh, cartridge slot in one from Sharp, Japanese only system. You can see that uh, I've got it in pieces right here. Basically what happened was I picked this up a couple months ago off uh, a very unscrupulous seller on eBay, uh, Yamatoku. He also has an account, Yamatoku Classic. I had dealt with him before. Uh, reasonably successful in the past. I mean, I bought a lot of disc-based games, and all the discs were mint. But I had picked up a couple systems off of them, and I've had to do... I've had to do a moderate amount of work to them, clean them up, clean the, the pins on, and on them and whatnot, the lenses. But they did work. Uh, this one here was uh, tested, apparently, so he says. Those are the controllers over there. He says it was tested, so I plugged it in. Uh, this worked. The cartridge slot worked fine. I could play games in that all day long. But uh, the disk drive, which I have right here, did not work. And for those of you who understand this system... Wow, that came out. That's not supposed to come out. But anyway, those of you who understand the system know exactly what the problem was. Um... The rubber belt for the system uh, just over time just turns to mush and uh, yeah and it won't work so it's you guys can see you can see that's not supposed to happen so basically he said he tested this there's no physical possible way a disc ran on this system with the belt like this uh, I'll show you guys on here, you can see the belt uh, right there on the on the gear or the spindle or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, one hand's a bit rough here, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to pick it off with my fingernail. It's glued on there pretty much, so it's no way it can work, and there's no way it uh, it did work when he tested it. So uh, Yamatoku and Yamatoku Classic can uh, can go screw themselves, as far as I'm concerned. I told him I was going to make this video. He basically didn't acknowledge the fact that uh, you know didn't acknowledge me he offered me a $20 refund on a system that cost me well, let's just put it this way it cost me over a hundred you guys know what these go for what working systems go for which this apparently was so uh, yeah pretty disappointed 20 bucks doesn't doesn't come close to fixing this I've got uh, I've got a replacement belt here that I picked up off eBay uh, ironically enough it was a $20 belt this, this is $20, but what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, pretty frustrated right now because I have it apart. I can get the belt on here now once I manage to scrape off all the, the rotted rubber here. But like I said, this part just dropped out. There's just a pile of pieces and the springs and everything. There's no guarantee this is going back together properly. Actually, I'm willing to take a bet it won't. So, yeah, pretty disappointed because... Uh, because I was looking forward to uh, to enjoying this system. It's one of the systems that uh, one of the big systems that I uh, wanted for. I've been wanting for a while that with the, uh, along with the PC Engine Duo. Um, yeah, so uh, the thought of spending another, you know, 140, 150, 160, whatever for uh, for another one of these is uh, thought of it's not looking good right now. So anyway, if uh, if you see another video of me playing a, a Famicom disc based game later on, you'll know this went back together properly. Uh, if you don't, you know that this went out in the snowbank. So, uh, there you go guys. This is what I'm up to. Just letting you guys know, Yamatoku, Yamatoku Classic. Do your own research. Do your own uh, questioning on these guys if you see them on eBay. I won't... Uh, I won't suggest you not bid or bid on his stuff. You guys do what you want. I'm just relating my experience to you. Um, and it's not a good one. Thanks for watching.